Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to take screenshots using Puppeteer parallelly. Let's say we have different 5 to 6 pages and in a loop I want to take screenshots one by one and I want to save the screenshots. Right? For example, for example, let me open this page, Wikipedia wiki slash one is there so i want to take a screenshot of this screenshot of another one three four let's say up to six pages i want to take a screenshot of all the pages so how can i do that we can easily do that in puppeteer without any further ado let us start the So for that, let me create a puppeteer var variable. So I'll just copy this from here, puppeteer var, and I'll create a constant variable for parallel pages. How many parallel pages I want to take a screenshot? Let me write six. Now I'll copy the describe block and it block from here. Let me copy this. So here I'll write the describe block description as take screenshots parallelly for different for different pages so in parallel we'll take a screenshots and we'll save the screenshots in our puppeteer project directly so i'll write from different pages then copy the same i'll add it to it block so i'll write test take screenshots parallelly from pages now here yeah. The first one, the browser, let us keep like that. Puppeteer don't launch headless equal to. Then after this, from here to browser before the browser close. Let me close this page. I'll click on enter here. So I'll write constant promises equal to. I'll write a blank array so that I can use in parallel. I'll be using a loop to create the parallel pages and run the loop up to the parallel pages ends so let me take a loop here for loop so i'll write i equal to and i have to define here let i equal to 0 i less than parallel pages parallel pages and i'll iterate the loop by giving i plus plus here let me write the open bracket close bracket console.log page number captured and I here it will be plus i that's it so I want to write a console.log for the each and every page which is captured right now here I'll write a promise this is very important here the promise is dot push so this is the array which I have created in the top so what I'll push here, browser, await, browser, dot, new page, dot, then. So dot, then will give a, a sync page here. Let me write a sync, an arrow function. An arrow function, we can write open bracket, close bracket here. Then I'll write await. You won't, you can set the viewport also. So I'll write page dot set viewport. Set viewport is nothing but telling how what will be the width and the height for the page to be captured. So I'll write width as 2080 and height as 720. Just as a HD resolution. So width will be 2080, height will be 720. Here also I can write page dot go to. So I'll write away page dot go to go to in the sense navigate to that particular page i'll copy this entire thing i'll go back to my program i'll paste the entire code here and this six will be my i it will be iterating parallelly so let me add i so just want to concatenate with i and i have to take the screenshot now okay so i'll write await page await page dot screenshot open bracket close bracket so 
be writing path. What is the path here? I'm going to a Wikipedia page. Wikipedia screenshot underscore then I'll be adding this i and I'll be concatenating with dot png. Alright. Now what I'll do before closing the browser I'll be adding here await promise dot all of promises. Okay. So this is the program in simple way. So I have six pages here. I'm taking the screenshots. So I have added the promises array. I'm using a loop to iterate for the pages. I'm using a promises to set the viewport. Go to that particular page and take a screenshot. So in the package.json, I have already added parallel.js. I'll be running npm test. So these are all page number captured. You can see here screenshots are getting created. Screenshot 3, screenshot 4, screenshot 5. So it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the test has now passed. So let, let me go back. So this is inside Puppetia project. You can see the screenshots. Just if I open the screenshots, it will be looking like this. This is 0 and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So up to from 0 to 5 it has kept all the 6 pages. So this is a simple video of capturing the pages parallelly. Taking a screenshot of that. You can try with different scenarios. You can increase the parallel pages count. It will take as much as you want since the parallel pages is dynamic here. Here we can increase it and this will loop will be iterated to the count you have given. So this is the old screenshot script where I was just going to screenshot options. I was just specifying the JPEG path. I was giving store inside the images, full page quality true and I was using the same screenshot and I was using the screenshot options to save the file in this format. Here in parallel, I'm using the same screenshot method, but I'm specifying the set viewport and also this page I wanted the screenshot. So there is, there is a little bit difference. I didn't give the options here in the parallel like I have given the options here. You can save it any format, JPEG or here specifically I'm saving the option as PNG. Hope you have liked the video guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.